my ground rod. There's a 480 volt service here. I'm gonna pound this ground rod in down a ways yonder and hot it up. Back to the subject. Hammer time. Is that good enough? Sure. So there's my ground rod in the woods. I ran this wire, 10 gauge. I'd say it's about a hundred feet. Oh, I butt spliced it here, just so you know. <clears throat> and again there. And here's my service. I hooked it up right there. And when I told you I was going to use 120 volt, uh, I lied. I'm going to use 240. This is a single phase system. There's a transformer. There's the service disconnect. It's for street lights only. As you can see from the label. This is a special use transformer. There is no meter. It only runs about, I don't know, 20 street lights, a mile in one direction and like a quarter mile in the other direction. But it is single phase. I cannot express that enough. And I know everybody's going to be like, what? Well, that doesn't exi it exist. Just accept it. I get 492, 493. And on phase to neutral I get 246 245 whatever that's around there 246 and this is no load this is under no friggin load it's three wire single phase system one two three that's the service right so there. I got my rubber mat <laughs> my gloves out I talked all that shit yesterday, so now I gotta fucking do it. Okay, anyway, there you go. It's on a 20 amp fuse here. This inline fuse is only 10. So if we draw more than 10 amps on that, you know, going through the earth, because that's the only way it's gonna get back here. This is hot. It goes to the ground rod. The only way it could get back here is through the earth. There's a ground rod, right? It's down there. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, see it? There's one that's six feet away. And then there's this one. So the only way the current's gonna come is through the earth. All right? Okay, so I put a shorting cap in. So when I turn this bitch on, it's gonna stay on. I just, just look, this is nothing. Nothing's going on. And I'm getting one to two micro freaking amps. This is, I don't know what, inductance from this? Or, I don't know. All right, I'm standing on my mats and I got my gloves on because I don't really know what's gonna happen. And if you're wondering when to use your gloves, it says always wear your gloves. I, I, I don't know, I guess that's literally always or only when it's dangerous. I'm gonna go with only when it's dangerous and when you don't know what the fuck's gonna happen, okay. This is why safety is number one priority. <clears throat> okay, don't do this ever. <clears throat> oh yeah, look, look. That's why the fuse blew, look, 10 amp. It'll hold there for a minute though. The other one must have been fast, fast blow. That's crazy. And that's far away too. Like, I could walk over there, but I'm scared. What if I get shocked? You guys want me to do it? You don't give a fuck. Of course you do. <clears throat> I can't test it, though. Because I don't have a neutral down there. Let me run a neutral down there. Okay, so I got my neutral running down there. I hooked it up to the bar. 
ran it alongside that 240 volt line just so I can test the voltage down there. I'll check current too, whatever. I also changed the fuse in there. I already showed you that. There's our 10 volt uh, amps, excuse me. I'm gonna walk down there and hopefully I don't die. I'm gonna bet that I won't, but I'm gonna take my rubber mat for fun. And take a walk down the woods. I don't feel nothing. Mm, getting squirrely, okay. I don't think I feel anything. I don't know, do I feel it? I don't think I feel it. Do you feel it? I don't know, I don't feel nothing. It's like that one time we took that bunk acid. You feel something? No, I don't feel nothing. I don't, I think, no, no, I feel it. I feel it. No, I don't. <clears throat> I must stand on this just, just in case. But what's our amps down here? Ooh, it's 11. It's higher. What the fuck happened? I don't know. And just to prove that there is voltage here, I'm gonna measure this bitch right here. The neutral to the ground rod. Oh, come on now. Turn it off. Sorry. 246. 246, eh? Right here. I got you 246 right here. Hey, who am I talking to over here? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't tell if my hands itch because the gloves or is there current coming through me? I don't know. Now, there's some variables here, okay? And this is why I'm doing this because shit ain't perfect in the real world okay I should probably get that neutral off the ground okay <clears throat> okay so yeah we're in the woods here it's sandy here in Florida and it's dry season so there's not any water in the ground now that's not the nearest ground rod down there by the source there's street lights down here see it through the trees can't see it there's another one right there see? so there's ground rods at each of these lights it could be going through these lights ground rods because actually that one's closer if you really think about it we can check the amps coming from the grounding electrode see what that displays for us Yeah, like 100 milliamps. Okay, so that current is not coming back up through this ground rod. As you can see, there is barely any current coming back to this panel that this hot feed is hooked up to. It's most likely coming here or at one of these street lights or some other way to get back here because it ain't there. Fuck, I could just disconnect that ground rod and there'd still be 10 amps on this on this hot wire. There's, there's a fraction of it coming up through the ground. On this ground rod and that ground rod right there. Okay, that one's a little bit before this transformer. But there's a, tra there's a ground rod in here, probably picking it up. Every scenario is different. The position of shit is different. Like this could be over there somewhere. Sometimes maybe it's on that side. It just depends on like, where's the fault at? Okay, this is a deliberate fault. I just applied it way the fuck down there. I did it on purpose, but 
do you see what I'm trying to like point out here is that like shit ain't perfect. You can do your fucking voltage drop calculation, which let's go over that. You want to talk about voltage drop? Theoretically, it's like 100 feet approximately. What was it down there? 246? Forty-six. So uh, we didn't lose any voltage, and that's I don't know at least a hundred feet away. Got a ten amp load on it. Go do a voltage calculate, a voltage drop calculation, and you're gonna come back with some bullshit. It was about two point five three percent at a hundred feet. Okay, well that ain't real life. This is real life. That's my point. Ooh, we got twelve now. So the amps went up, but the voltage drop didn't really do anything, which is a, a key factor. If you have very low amp draw, you will not have any voltage drop. It will be it, it, minimal. You have a very large amp draw, you're gonna drop a shitload of volts. Uh, like 10 amps, I guess, is apparently not anything to change 246 to 246. I don't know, but uh, I gotta tell you, that current ain't coming back on the ground rod, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 140 milliamps is coming back on this ground rod. But almost 13 amps is going somewhere <laughs> underground. So I, I'll give you, I'll give you, I give it to you. Yes, ground rods, they do work, they do something. That's true, but do you see how many variables there are? You got the, the composition of soil, the moisture. There's a ground rod here, there, at the street light poles. Which one is it coming through? I don't know. Let's measure the one coming from the street lights. Just for kicks. Let's see if, it, if we can get any amps on that bitch. There, look. 1.7 amps is coming from the street light circuit. It's not even going to this ground rod here at the source. What the fuck is that there for? 140 milliamps. Okay. But, okay, if there was a ground fault like over there, yeah, you'd want it here. So it needs to be there. I'm not going to say get rid of it. I'm just saying at that distance, this ground rod don't do shit. That happens a lot. I see that a lot. And that's why I made this goddamn video. <clears throat> but look. I'm back on the ground wire from the street lights. That's crazy, right? What about a nooch? Yeah, it ain't doing nothing. I don't know. That was good. That was good. That was interesting. Hey, I was partially wrong. I, I got no problem telling people I was fucking wrong because I don't know everything. That's why I do shit like this. I hope you enjoyed it. This was a fucking blast. Sparky, wanna see a show? Ah. Mm, I've had better. <laughs>